that was off to a good start here. All right, so welcome, folks. Mill Spec Ops Monkey here. This is going to be your your uh, last sit rep until uh, after Christmas. So uh, we'll be back on Monday. But uh, uh, for those that want to catch uh, the sit reps live, remember you can go over to Patreon. It's about uh, entry levels, about three dollars a month, and uh, you can catch all the sit reps live as well as be part of the live chat, etc. And a amazing community there. So. Uh, without further ado, let me hop on over here uh, now that my sound is on and I am on track. Uh, a couple things I want to point out. Uh, we've had some interesting traffic over Florida as of late. Now I'm going to pull this up. This is going to be uh, sky glass. And I uh, just want to point out, uh, we do have over here, this is going to be uh, P8 activity. These are both P8s uh, now flying as NAs, uh, which I find interesting because we've been tracking those pretty heavily. Uh, and they probably just don't uh, want us knowing what they are, but I yeah, just can't hide. So it's, it's, uh, it's there for everybody to see. Uh, and now that we know uh, what their hex codes are, we just basically confirm it. And so this one looks to be off of the Cape Canaveral coast uh, area, Florida, central Florida coast area, uh, running some routes. And then this one's just a little bit north up there near St. Augustine uh, doing the same thing. Now, uh, the interesting thing in what we've been talking about, I've been watching this uh, actually, since uh, over the weekend, uh, we've been getting a lot of uh, air refuelers up over Central Florida. Now, I don't know what the rationale is behind that. We'll talk a little bit further as we go forward. Uh, but uh, it is interesting. You don't see that very often uh, unless they are, um, you know, trying to protect something there. And so when you get the tankers, as always, that is a big indicator of fighter activity. And so um, we will look closer at that here in just a second now. Uh, current number is sitting up around 267, and uh, if we kind of zoom in on the floor, you can see we do have quite a bit of trainer activity across Texas. We get our Century Nova 06 that's out here uh, helping with some of that congestion uh, that's kind of been commonplace uh, for, to see them out in that general area. Now, this is our 703, uh, which is a spy bird. Uh, kind of zoom in on it so you guys can see what that thing looks like, uh, but you can see it's got that little doghouse on the bottom there and an array of antennas on it. Uh, but this is, uh, again, one of our little spy birds. And uh, looks like that one is, is running some routes out over Kentucky, uh, which is interesting. When you think about, uh, we just had a whole bunch of weather roll through there uh, and the fact that they are uh, look to be up and uh, kind of doing surveillance on the area. Uh, so there is that little reconnaissance. And, uh, you know, fair amount of tankers up actually. Uh, but if we get over here to Florida, you can see these, these tankers are down. Now, if I go back just a little bit, uh, a little longer, um, actually just a little while ago, uh, this was the tanker launch probably uh, maybe two hours ago. We could see them starting to get airborne and uh, uh, most of it off of the East Coast. But then uh, for Florida, that's actually, this is the, the one we were just looking at right over kind of the meat of Florida. Uh, just, uh, you know, north of uh, Lake Okeechobee. Uh, remember, West Palm Beach is where uh, that's kind of the, the general area for, for Trump to be hanging out. And so if he's in uh, Mar-a-Lago, that could explain why we might see some of that. Also, uh, there is a little point of interest. Remember now, uh, over on, uh, let me get back over here to the right board, but uh, remember too that we have a permanent TFR over Orlando. I don't think that is what is involved here. Highly unlikely, unless they're just getting some crazy threats at Disney, but uh, I, I seriously doubt it. Um, more than likely, now check this out. This is right there in that general area where they're flying. They're actually a little bit south of that. Uh, and this is sitting uh, for, uh, if you're going up on that map, that's actually north. Um, so it is sitting according to how it would look. Uh, you know, uh, in the state. So it is true north. And so, but this is a nuclear power plant. It's been there uh, for a, quite a long time. You can see, uh, let's see if we got 528 uh, highway, the causeway right here. That runs all the way out to the beach, to uh, the, the space center. There's 417. Uh, but yeah, that may be what's going on. There may be some threats where they're worried about somebody uh, doing something to the nuclear power facility. Now, if you get out here to the coast, remember this is a uh, uh, this is basically the NASA location, right? Can uh, Cape Canaveral Kennedy Space Center, that whole area. Uh, and so uh, Cocoa Beach here, I dream of Genie. And, uh, and then right out here is where we're seeing that P8 activity going on right now. And then up north here uh, is the other P8. So 
uh, it could be related to this uh, nuclear facility uh, or it could be related to, uh, you know, Trump down here in this general area. So kind of an unknown, but uh, we will continue to keep an eye on it. Uh, the other piece, too, that is kind of um, uh, a little perplexing here is the fact that we do have, uh, that's not it. Let me get over to the right one. We do have this one uh, where this is actually the DOJ has actually flown back down to Orlando and, and boogied out. Like they didn't stay on the ground very long. And so, uh, but this is, you know, this is that go bird that uh, when they put a team out, they deploy them. Um, they sent them down on Monday and they extracted them today. And so, uh, so we've seen actually over the weekend, we actually saw this, this come in. Sorry, that wasn't Monday. That was over the weekend. So, uh, but we've seen uh, the DOJ and Homeland Security Secretary, both in Orlando uh, recently as well. So could there be a high value target maybe that's down here? being protected, um, you know, maybe. Uh, it's, it's really hard to say. I don't know of any court cases going on that are high profile in Orlando, uh, but the fact that you got uh, fighters up over that, general, uh, that same general area definitely kind of tips the hat that there's, there's something a little more than what meets the eye there, right? Okay, so let me get back over here uh, to this. This is actually gonna be one of the flights we were just looking at. You can see uh, these two refuelers are now running up and down the coast there, but they were over Central Florida for a while. That's all still within within range. Um, they're probably just expanding their their uh, their feeder, right? So, uh, but there is that one. Now let me get over here. I'll just show you what the heavies were doing earlier this morning. So we've got uh, we we looked at the tankers. Uh, we've got the P8s that are off the coast. Now these are uh, what you're looking at of the, the two P8s that we see now active. That was them taken off a little while ago. Uh, in terms of C-17 activity it, and, and uh, C-130, the heavy lift uh, supply movers, uh, really kind of quiet today, at least starting out kind of quiet compared to what we would normally see, maybe, maybe just because we're heading into a holiday. Uh, but uh, that, um, you know, we'll, we'll continue to watch that one too. I do see a lot of two ships up right now, but they seem to be tankers, which I, I do find interesting. Uh, there's one of your DC, that's a little air refueler. Another air, uh, air refueler right here, the Dash 01. Of course, we've got these down here. Uh, a lot of air refuelers up, actually. So, Okay, so let's get over here and take a look at the volcanic activity. Really kind of quiet for the first time. This is as light as I think I've seen it in months. Uh, I only have five volcanoes actually blowing ash right now. La Palma has gone quiet. It looks to be just straight uh, uh, plasma now instead of, uh, you know, uh, or lava, should I say. Uh, it looks like it's just straight lava uh, and no ash. So uh, very interesting. Uh, I'm sure we'll see this thing pop and start firing again here uh, soon enough. It uh, doesn't go quiet for very long. All right, now let's get over here to Flashbang schedule. Take a look at him. This is for Wednesday, uh, again, 22nd of December. And it uh, looks like he is trying to uh, still get his hands around the whole uh, supply chain disruptions. He's got a, a task force into play which I think is very comical. Um, uh, and really, if you kind of look at what's going on, he's actually just continues to free fall. Uh, this just came out. Uh, this is actually uh, a poll that was put out by a, a far left organization, CNN. Uh, but this is kind of funny. It says the takeaway is the fact that uh, he's at his lowest net economic rating of any president at this point through the first term since at least Jimmy Carter. Uh, but it also talks about he's got a 55% disapproval rating. I would agree with that. And, uh, and that uh, he's basically, I think there's like an 18-point swing between, uh, well, let, let me just finish this one out. It actually says, uh, let's see, he's at a negative 13 points for the economy, which is uh, astronomically low. Um, they say the average of any president over time has been about plus five points. Uh, and so he is uh, 18 points worse than average. And uh, I think we can kind of feel it uh, in the economy. Everything right now seems to be kind of covered up a little. Uh, they're not really uh, publicizing that too much. Although CNN put this poll out, uh, kind of shot over the bow. Didn't expect uh, that shot probably. But, uh, but here, let's get a little closer look to what's going on. Now, this is going to be the coastline, uh, Los Angeles area. And this is the port. And as you can see, it's still pretty, pretty backed up. Uh, these other ones are actually coming inbound. There's a couple. If you see them headed that way, those are actually uh, headed to, well, one's Oakland. 
The other is leaving headed to China. Uh, these others are probably coming inbound support. Uh, but again, still pushing probably 70 plus boats that are in here. Uh, these are parked uh, because you note know, they're, they're just round circles. Uh, just something to, you know, a data point. But if we get over here and take a look at how we looked, say, um, about a month ago, uh, it, it has changed just a little bit. Now, this is today. This is actually from uh, a month ago. That's uh, November 19th, and you can see them pretty stacked up there. And uh, that was uh, them coming inbound and actually parked offshore. Now, remember, uh, one interesting little data point, when you see these and they're scattered so far off the shore, uh, the reason for that is because if they were, are within 40 miles of the port, um, they, or if they're outside of 40 miles, they are not measured as part of the metric as in waiting. So the, the clock isn't ticking for them. And so they keep them off the shore. And so that's what you're seeing there is uh, basically all these boats parking out there because if they come in any closer, uh, the, the clock starts ticking and they're, they're kind of held accountable. And so it makes the, met the metrics look a lot worse, okay? All right, so let's get back over here to our, our main board here now. I clicked on this one a minute ago because I was going to just show you. This is a really interesting deal. Uh, I was looking at one of these flights. I've had several uh, monkeys actually ask me about this. Now, when I looked at it from this perspective in this aircraft and what it was doing on a particular day, uh, I thought maybe this is one of those zero gravity birds where they're basically, they, they hang at high altitude. Uh, you know, it's astronaut training, right? And then they do a little free fall and then level off. And the plane was actually doing that. However, this bad dude's like a two-seater. And so uh, it's, it's kind of wild. If you look at it, it really takes you back to kind of Nazi Germany when you look at the plane. Uh, I thought it was larger than that. I thought there, were, there was enough room in here for people to, to get in, uh, but there's not really. This is, um, I don't know what the airplane does. Uh, I just noticed that wing right there and these engines look very uh, 1945 Germany kind, okay? A little, little funky, but... Um, uh, on that design. Now this is a different look at the same aircraft and you can see it's a little two-seater and uh, not quite as big as I thought. Again, I don't know what it does, but that surface right there is is pretty Mac Daddy. Um, now, if you want to check out some kind of neat stuff in terms of NASA, uh, this, this website, it's called um, airbornescience.nasa.gov and it's a tracker and you can basically look at every plane that belongs to NASA and uh, there's one we were just looking at right there, uh, 926NA, uh, that little floater there. Um, but uh, this, it ties in all their aircraft. And when they're active, you can actually watch them. Uh, I thought this was really cool. It's a little website out there. It's got the tracker and a bunch of other information out there as well. So you can actually, let me see if I can pull it here. Um, it'll cooperate back up. But you can look at all the aircraft. Uh, you can read about some of the aircraft and what they do. Uh, they've got a sea of them, but then it also kind of gives you uh, a status too. So you can actually go in and look at, at uh, you know, if it's in maintenance cycle or all kinds of different stuff. So it's actually pretty open kimono. Um, and uh, again, it's a, it's a cool site. So I uh, just want to pull that up. Just, uh, you know, I like to kind of show the interesting aircraft stuff as we uh, go through this. And of course, now we've already talked about this, uh, this flight. This is uh, the little GO team coming back out of Orlando. That's DOJ. Uh, and then, of course, we we'll talk a little bit about this CO2. Uh, this is actually the Secretary of Homeland Security and uh, looks like uh, they were in Harrisburg. So they did a quick round robin this morning from uh, the Brown Zone over into Harrisburg and then back to the Brown Zone. So I don't know what they were doing there, but just uh, we always like to watch them. Uh, sometimes you can put two and two together with, with uh, pr press releases, right? Okay, now continuing on with some interesting birds, this is going to be our sniffer. Um, and this is actually, uh, this one's been on the move. It did a couple little round robins there at the um, um, Camp Springs, uh, Andrews, and then it went out uh, to Westchester and then back to Camp Springs. And so it's been kind of moving around. That was 22 hours ago. Uh, but since Tuesday, it has, uh, it's been out in Morgantown and then Westchester and then back. So uh, and you can see that altitude line right there uh, on the green. Uh, that's taking samples as it flies through. So, uh, as always, they're always worried about something. Now, the sister ship, this one actually used to be on the East Coast. This is a West Coast now. This is out in Vegas doing the same thing. Now, this is a 411 DE, again, Department of Energy, uh, sniffer, same as the other one, right? Uh, 
Uh, but uh, you can see out here just kind of east of Vegas doing that little running some routes, taking some samples. And so uh, I don't know what the heck goes on out there in Vegas where they'd want to sniff the air, <laughs> but they do. And so uh, that plane is out there or that helicopter's out there uh, permanently. And uh, every once in a while you'll see them swap. And they do have a, a high wing uh, Cessna that they also use, uh, but I uh, haven't seen that one in operation in, in quite some time. So, okay, other interesting things. Now we'll get over here to this, uh, one of the spy balloons. And uh, this one is actually out over Jamaica right now. It, has, it was parked over here in the Dominican Republic in Haiti, and uh, now it's over Jamaica. And so I have no idea what they are up to, but uh, remember just in recent, in the last 10 days, we actually had an R-135 that was running routes through here, uh, which is a spy craft. And so there seems to be a pretty large interest in this general region uh, for some reason. And so we'll just continue to watch it as long as we can track it. Uh, I'm actually surprised we can see it, but, uh, but it's there. All right. Now, let's get over here real fast on the immigration side. Uh, Biggs is kind of a weird, uh, I don't know what's going on right now, uh, other than a lot of activity. I've never seen the board this active at Biggs. Uh, these, uh, the little R numbers right here, are going to be uh, helicopters, probably H-60s, uh, which seem to be doing a lot of taking off and landing. Uh, and then, of course, you get in here to the gray bird where it says gray 18. Uh, that's a spy bird, okay? And so that's one that is... Uh, let me see if it'll pull up a picture for us. Uh, it's not. He looks like he's just running routes uh, at the airport there. Uh, but uh, this is one of those uh, aircraft that have, you know, an array of antennas off of it. It's a little gray bird. And um, it looks like they're just running some touch and goes or doing maybe some maintenance checks. Uh, but that, uh, that's a busy board right there. Now, what I don't see and I find interesting is that I don't see any immigration flights inbound or out uh, of Biggs, which is kind of a centralized location. So they may be taking a small hiatus uh, coming up on Christmas. Uh, of course, the people that are there are not people that, that would even, <laughs> that Christmas doesn't mean anything to them uh, other than, a, you know, kill the infidel. So, um, okay, so there is that. Uh, I'm still, I, I still can't get my head around the fact that we've got uh, Muslims camping at uh, a multitude of military installations across our country. Just let that sink in. Uh, it just blows me away that, uh, that we would even do that. And so, uh, anyway, all right. So uh, let's get over here to Swift Air. You can kind of see what's going on here. Uh, still have some flights. Look like that one is, an, is a, uh, taking some folks out of Alexandria down to Guatemala. So that's people being deported. However, we do have a lot of other flights. We've got this one here headed over to Valley, which is um, Alexandria to the border. And then we got this, another, yet another Laredo flight headed to Port-au-Prince. That would indicate that we have uh, some Haitians, uh, AKA coconuts, uh, being deported uh, out of the country. And of course, we still have this Yuma stuff going on between Laredo and, and Yuma. Uh, so there is definitely a camp location out there, as well as San Antonio. Now, what is interesting is that uh, this, with the San Antonio piece, I don't know that we've got poppies going into San Antonio. Those would typically be bananas and coconuts. Uh, and so uh, I don't think they're commingling them, but maybe they are. Uh, you could have them all out there together at Yuma. So we'll keep our eye on that and see if anything changes. And last but not least, let's get over here to Guantanamo Bay and see what's going on. Now, this is kind of interesting. We do have... Uh, some arrivals, you can see Eastern Airlines coming in from Miami. That's a big bird, folks. That's a 767-200. Uh, those are big planes. They hold a lot of people. Uh, the fact that that's coming in and the fact that it's going out, it uh, looks like it's actually maybe it deadheaded in uh, and it's rolling out of uh, there to Jacksonville. So that could be a troop rotation. I did just read that uh, uh, South Dakota is actually putting in 100 uh, of the military police. Uh, they're basically doing the, the rotation. They do that every month. Um, but what I will tell you is that if, if there were only 40 prisoners there at last count, uh, and if you were to calculate the amount of, of flights that come in doing the rotations, uh, there are significantly more, uh, the ratio would, ha would be uh, fairly high, okay, from a police to uh, inmate. 
uh, probably around a five to one ratio, which I, to me that seems high. I'm not a prison guy or a prison guard kind of guy. I don't know what the ratios usually are at the prisons, but uh, uh, I know and maybe in the, the civilian system, it, it de definitely isn't that high to my knowledge. Uh, so that would probably indicate that there are a lot more folks there outside of the 9-11 piece that we don't see and have access to, okay? Now, if we get over here to the calendar on Guantanamo Bay, uh, I don't know why this box is sitting red. I've refreshed it several times. Uh, we're on the 22nd, you can see it is blank. And so to see this activity going back and forth, if it's not troops uh, it, and it doesn't appear to be media, I don't know what is going on. So um, we'll continue to watch it as we always do. Uh, but again, until we get to January, it looks like we've got about a two week span of a whole lot of nothing. And then you've got uh, the first week uh, of this guy with, um, uh, I don't know, it's canceled. So all the way till the seventh is now canceled. And then we go right back into uh, this dude with a 50 long, 50 word long name. Um, anyway, uh, but that starts the 10th and runs all the way through January. So, all right. Now, uh, last time we got together, we were also talking a little bit about uh, this plane that popped out of Germany into uh, Africa. Uh, because every time they do that, uh, there's always some kind of news cycle that uh, comes and tells us that we all of a sudden have some kind of new variant. So. I uh, just want to point that out that uh, uh, today it actually left. Of course, they're way ahead of us in the hours, uh, but it was, uh, looks like, let me just back this in. So it came out of Africa. Uh, and of course, you know, this general area right here is pretty big on Ebola, rolled into France from there. And then, uh, uh, sorry, not France, Frankfurt. Sorry, I see the FRA up there, but uh, uh, went to Frankfurt, Germany. And uh, let me see if it's got any other little flights tied to that. Yeah, and then from, from Frankfurt, it went over to Ramstein, and it uh, looks like it has uh, gone from there over to Stuttgart. So uh, that is, and the reason we track that is because that is a known agency bird. I, I believe uh, the agency that is involved in this one is probably CDC, okay? And so um, anyway, there is that. So let me bounce back over here to our main board and uh, we'll pop up also, just take a look at the TFRs. I will tell you, there's nothing really to speak of right now TFR-wise. It is very quiet across the, uh, the U.S. Uh, we do have some storm systems rolling in. Uh, we're kind of in between two, it looks like. Uh, but uh, nothing really to speak of. So we're kind of green on the TFRs. We still have the security one down here in this general area in Southern California. Uh, just so you can see, actually, there's two of them. Let's see what those belong to. Uh, VIP. So it looks to me like uh, Bob Marley is headed home for the holidays. All right. Other than that, nothing else on it. So, all right, let's get back over to our main board and just see if we've got any kind of stuff. Uh, that's a two ship of air refuelers. Still got the stuff going on. Florida has been very, very crazy busy. Uh, this is your P8. So now this P8 is actually a little further south. Uh, so that, that uh, ring that we were looking at over here on Skyglass uh, is not, uh, is not Cape, yeah, okay, I didn't get above it to look. So it's further south, it's not near, this is Cape Canaveral right here. And so that is down south across from, that's Vero Beach, um, and uh, let me see here, Fort Pierce, St. Lucia, that general area, so that, that would indicate they're looking for something out there or there is something out there US wise um, that, is, that is parked. Uh, now keep in mind, this right here is where uh, Trump is, okay? So uh, if you've got uh, sub coverage here, you got fighters up over here uh, or necessarily they may not be up over here. The tankers were up over here. Uh, fighters could be anywhere in that, in that general range. I mean, they cover a pretty good distance. Uh, you're not gonna have fighters flying cap directly in the same area where the air refuelers are, right? They would, they'd be running into each other. So, um, so what they probably do is they put that, that air refueler out just right off, right off the edge of where those guys are, are doing their, um, their flights. And so they would just bump out of that area, pop in, get some fuel, uh, gas and go, right? And then head back to where they were, they were working caps. So, so uh, you know, that could be, uh, man, I don't know. It's, it's hard to speculate. Uh, could be some threats going on against against him that they're worried about. Um, 
or uh, could be a, a HVT. The fact that DOJ has come down here with Homeland Security and the fact they just bugged out today um, makes you kind of wonder if, um, if they aren't moving something. Uh, and notice too, this every fueler kind of follows that, that track up north here, just south of Virginia. And so if you get over here to that flight, uh, look at that track. I mean, it's kind of kind of headed in that same general direction. Uh, man, fighter escort? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, kind of hard to tell. You're not going to see the fighters on there because they're they're not. You just don't see them. And so uh, that is interesting. But we'll keep our eye on it. Uh, maybe sooner or later we'll hear something of what was going on. Maybe we'll never hear. So, all right, listen, that's going to do it for our sit rep. You guys, uh, I just I can't thank you enough for... Uh, uh, just uh, being through this uh, with me for this last year. It's been amazing. Um, I will be back on Monday. Uh, please have a safe and blessed uh, Merry Christmas, and uh, we'll see you on Monday. The Watchman Hour uh, will be out on Sunday. Uh, we just recorded that yesterday, too. So if you're following that Revelation series, um, that will be out on Sunday uh, as usual. So you guys be safe out there. God bless. Monkey out. Check out the latest gear and products at monkeyworksus.com.